Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, 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 Yasharal. Listen, he's been good to me. Yahuwah has been good to me. All praises be unto the Most High Yahuwah. He's been good to me. Listen. Yahuwah has been good. Shalom. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Yah. He's been good to me. So very good to me. I just want to say thank you. Listen, Yahoo, I give you praise right now. I thank you right now for being so good to me. Yahoo, being so good to the nation. Yahoo, for waking us up and for those who you have quickened in this witness, those that you have made alive, those that have received the renewed covenant, those that are walking in this witness, Yahuwah, I give you praise. You've been good to us. You've been good to us, Yahuwah. You've been good to us, so very good to us. A nation that was robbed and spoiled. You've been good to us. You've given us Yahushua Hamashiach. You've given us a renewed covenant. You've given us an opportunity to receive the witness to be part of the kingdom of Yahuwah. I give you praise. Yahuwah, take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. Yahuwah, cause me not to cause anyone to stumble, to be turned out of way, to come out lame. Yahuwah, that the word of Yahuwah, your word will go forth, Yahuwah, and will not return void. Yahuwah, I pray that those that have an ear to hear that you have called to receive this witness, this word, this Ruach word, I pray that they would receive it in Imunah. And Yahuwah, that it would cause them to grow, to cause them to be established, cause them to be a strengthened. Yahuwah, I give you praise. Yahuwah, I magnify your name. I glorify your name. I worship your name. I exalt your name. Hallelujah. Yahuwah, I give you praise. Yahuwah, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, I give you praise. He's been good to me. He's been good to me. Listen, listen, listen. He's been good to you whether you know it or not. Listen, if you are hearing this word, this basora, this Torah right now, recognize that he's been good to you. Because he's giving you the opportunity to hear and receive his word, to be established in his witness, and to be a part of his kingdom. He's been good to me. I cannot deny it. He's been good to me. Listen. He raised me up. I had a stroke. He's been good to me. Listen, listen. He's established me in his kingdom. He's given me an opportunity to be able to declare his witness. He's been good to me. Listening to Hezekiah, the song is entitled Good to Me. I don't own the rights to this music. Listen, Yahu has been good to me. Listen, Yasharal, he's been good to us. He's been good to us. Hallelujah. Hezekiah, good to me. The song is entitled Salvation. The CD is titled Salvation. Listen. He's been good to me. We going in. Right? Listen, you have to understand that this witness is what it's all about. Right? Receiving this witness. Right? You got to understand that everything up until Yahushua Hamashiach's witness Everything up to Yahushua Hamashiach's Last Supper. 
everything up to Yahushua Hamashiach's introducing or bringing in the renewed covenant, right, has been shadows, right? Everything that is in Genesis, right, that which was canonized and that which isn't, Jubilees, Yasher, Enoch, all of the books, right, everything pointed to the restoration of a kingdom and a people, right, 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 right. In Yahushua HaMashiach, the completion, right, right. Everything else was, was a type and a shadow. Everything was a test run, right, it's a test run, right. Dawid's kingdom was a test run, right. We as a people understood what it meant to have a king. We understood what it meant to, we understood what it looks like to be rulers, to have dominion, right? But because of sin consciousness and because our elders and our leaders, our priests, our high priests were flawed, right? And because of the consciousness of sin, the people, like the priest, right, fell away from Yahuwah. But they were all types and figures. They were all they were all shadows, right? Right, because you know the the priest that would establish the priesthood forever was not of Levi. He was of Yahuda. Yeah, he was that which Yahuwah has swore and will not repent. That Yahusha is a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Right. See, Yahusha is the fulfillment of this kingdom, this dominion that has been established forever in Yahushua HaMashiach, this renewal, right? But you have to receive it in Emunah. You can't be established in Pesach. You have to be established in the witness. I don't make somebody mad, but I don't care. You can't be established in unleavened bread. You got to be established in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. Those were shadows. They pointed to Yahushua. And until you receive Yahushua Hamashiach's witness and are established in him in Emunah, you ain't in. Don't matter how many peace socks you go to. Don't matter how much unleavened bread you celebrate. Unless you are in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, those were types and figures. Yahuwah is the fulfillment. Yahuwah said, this, this bread is my body that was broken for you. This you do as you remember Pesach, remember me. Because I am the fulfillment of Pesach. I am the fulfillment of unleavened bread. Listen. You will never be able to get the leaven out of your physical house. Not under the witness of you, not without the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. Because see, the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach points to this physical, this fleshly tabernacle, this house that has to be purged. Those were types of, and symbols. Listen, you ain't putting no blood on your doorpost. No, not in this day and age. You ain't sacrificing no lamb, put no blood over your doorpost, right? Right? You're not doing that. You're you're you 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 you're not take taking the leaven out. You can take the leaven out your house, right? But you ain't gonna get it all out. Not apart from the witness of Yushimashiach, <laughs> because that was symbols and types. That had nothing to do with Yeshua. Yahushua Hamashiach is that which takes out the leaven. He is that which is purges from all sin. He is that which removes sin consciousness. He is that which has established you in righteousness. And in his righteousness, we don't sin, right? We don't have leaven. We don't live in leaven. We don't even have to get to a place where we repent all the time because, listen, 
in Yahushua HaMashiach, he has atoned for us, and our consciousness of sin should have been cleansed. Now, granted, right? You know, there may be a time where, you, where, where something happens. I'm not talking about premeditated sin. I'm not talking about you uh, 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 living in sin and, 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 and constantly laying the grounds of repentance. I'm not talking about that. Right, 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 right. That's, 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 that's outside of, of, of Yeshua. You are still living in your carnal sinful nature. You have not received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. Because in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, there's a removal of sin consciousness. And in, in, in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, you receive his Ruach HaKadosh, his life, the life of Yahuwah and Alua, and the Ruach HaKadosh, the Torah of truth, which is going to lead you and guide you into all truth. You ain't going to be able to just turn around and go into doing sin because the righteousness of Yahuwah is going to warn you. And if you decide to go in and sin and go back, then there will remain no more sacrifice for you anyway. Listen, you got to understand that this is not Christendom. This is not that whole go to the Yahuwah and pray and ask him, forgive me, Jesus, forgive me, Jesus, forgive me, Jesus, forgive me, Jesus, forgive me. It ain't that kind of walk. This witness is established in Imunah and Yahushua Hamashiach, right? And in that witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, you've been made free from sin. And because of what Yahushua did, he has fulfilled Pesach. He's the fulfillment of Pesach, right? He's the fulfillment of the Torah. He is the fulfillment of the everything that's in the volume of the book. Yahushua fulfilled. There are things yet to be fulfilled, right? Because, you know, Yahushua yet has to return. Yahushua has to yet establish his physical kingdom. He has established the dominion. Yeah, Hasatan knows that the power has been taken from him from death. He knows death and hell, the keys... That authority, that power is removed from him. Yahushua has established his dominion in the earth already. Listen, and it doesn't matter that Titus Vespasian came and destroyed the temple. Yahushua's dominion is still established in the earth, right? Yes, Hasatan has went forth and Christianity, right? Went forth and conquered. Hey, 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 and yes, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, um, Constantine. Constantine established the Christian faith. He became the head of the Christian church, right? And his and his pope was the vicar, the replacement. These are all heresies. These are all profane. That's how they profane the name of Yahuwah. They went into the four corners of the earth with this. Hasatan has literally bruised the heel of Yahusha. But Yahusha has bruised his head because he's taken the dominion. But Hasatan has has came in and affected the world, infected the world with this Christianity, Christian insanity, right? That is not based on the, the, the Basora in the Torah of Yahushua Mashiach. Everything in, in, in Genesis to Malachi, right? Represents shadow. Yahushua was the renewed covenant. Who sat down with his disciples and says, listen, this is the new covenant in my blood. See, you got to understand that you got to receive the witness. Otherwise, you know, you're going you gonna to be, you going to be still trying to get the leaven out your house. You're going to be still trying to figure out, you know, how you going to put the blood over your doorpost. See, you know, it's funny, he's bruised, right? We think that we can do certain things, but not do other things, right? If you're going to be true to Pesach, right, then you're going to be true to Pesach, right? You're going to put blood on your doorpost. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna sacrifice that lamb, right? Right? You're going to cook it and you're going to do it the way our forefathers did it, the way the apostles did it, the way they did it, they prepared the Pesach. You're going to do it, right? You're going to do it that way. You're going to get the leaven out of your house. Right here, but but here's the kicker. Yahushua fulfilled it. That's why the covenant is a renewed covenant. 
right? It does not mean that we do not remember it. But and often as we remember Pesach, we remember Yahushua HaMashiach because he's the fulfillment of Pesach. See, because I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not focused on coming out of Mitzrayim. I, I, it's not my focus. I'm past Mitzrayim. I am in the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. I am in the kingdom. I am what they look to. You got to understand this witness, man. You got to receive this witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. You have to receive the Ruach HaKadosh because the Ruach HaKadosh is going to reveal all this truth to you. You know, you, 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 you can't be sitting around here, you know, uh, uh, trying to get all the, all the stuff out your house. Right? Right? I'm trying to keep Torah. You can't even keep Torah. You can't even keep the feast days until you satisfy the sin issue. Until you satisfy the sin issue. Look, you wake, you woke up to your sin and the sin of your ancestors. So now you got to have a sacrifice. You got to have a high priest to go to with that sacrifice. Right? If you, if you Torah only, you Tanakh only, you Yah only. If you're talking about keeping the feast days and the, look, look, you, 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 you got to come to you, you got to come to the high priest with a with an offering, right? Where are you gonna get a high priest, right? That has decayed, that has faded away, that has been replaced by the priesthood that is Yahusha. Under the Melchizedek order. Listen, you got to have a priest. You got to have a sacrifice. You got to have a temple to go to. You have a place where he has to go into. He's got to have a holies of holy. Then he has got to be able to go in there and have you and me with him. But he's got to have a priesthood. You got to have a bunch of people serving as a priesthood. But that's decayed, done away with. It was ixnade. It was wiped out. That's why Yahushua said this is a new covenant. That is is a is a new covenant in my blood. You gotta receive the witness of Yusha Mashiach. You gotta understand that this new covenant in his blood is what's going to establish you and it's going to cause you to remember Yahushua's sacrifice at Pesach. That's a Pesach is greater than what you what your forefathers were doing. Because they were just shadows. And then they didn't even understand the magnitude of it. But Yahushua Mashiach's witness. In Imuna. Oh yeah, that that that's that 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 changes everything. That changes the game. That changes me in the game. Right? Beloved, now we the sons of Yahoo. Then not yet appear we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. For as many as received him, the gam to them gave he power to be the sons of Balua, even them to believe on his name. Right? It's power to be the sons of Balua. And you have he quickened who were once dead in your trespasses and sins. Where in times past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the Ruach that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also ye had your conversation in times past, fulfilling the lust of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, even as others. But you have he quickened who were once dead in your trespasses and sins, right? He caused you to be seated together in heavenly places in Hamashiach. Listen, that's that's greater than Pesach. That's greater than unleavened bread. I remember Yahushua Hamashiach. Yes, I remember Pesach. I remember what our ancestors went through. But I also remember that our ancestors died in the wilderness because they was rebellious, stick naft and stubborn. Right? The same ones that put the blood on their doorpost and took the leaven out of their house because of the sin consciousness that constantly was in them. See, but in the witness of Yusha Mashiach, I'm free. Right? I don't, I don't have sin consciousness. I keep Torah because the righteousness of of Yahuwah is in me. Yahuwah and Yahusha, the Ruach HaKadosh is giving me what I need. I keep Torah. This is why 
you must receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. This is why you must have the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? Right? Because if you don't, you're going to be chasing shadows. Chasing shadows. Chasing a priesthood that's under Aaron that has decayed and faded away. A priesthood with Yahuwah told Eli that it's going to fade away. It's going to be done. Eli, his sons, Hophnius and Phineas, was wicked. You got to understand this, this, this Melchizedek priesthood. You got to understand this Yahushua, this Lamb of Yahuwah that taketh away the sins of the world. Right? Yahushua. And then he didn't leave us comfortless. He gave us the Ruach HaKadosh. He became the sacrifice. And then he gave us what we need to get the job done to establish us in this witness and to establish others in this witness. To bring his kingdom. Let's go. 14th chapter. I think I only got to like the 7th verse, right? But again, the 14th chapter, Paul was dealing with how, you know, we deal with people in, in, in Imuna, right? How we need to recognize that in this witness, there are varying degrees of strength, right? Again, someone like me who is established in this word, in the Ruach HaKadosh, that has meditated and continue to meditate in this Torah and receive wisdom and revelation by this Torah, right? I am established in Emunah. You can't shake me, right? Can't shake me. Let's say someone who's new to this witness, right? Who's just developing in this witness, who have maybe just come out of some things, right? These people, right? They are still in Yahoo. They're still Yahoo's, right? And what I must do is I must recognize where they are and not lead them into um, doubtful disputes. Paul says, him that is weak in Emuna, right? Those that are babes, those that are new, those that are just developing in this witness, right? Those that are weak in the faith, receive. Right? Receive them. You know, you stronger. You know, they, they coming in and, and, and joining your fellowship or being a part of your assembly. Receive them. Right? But don't get into no dialogues and no doubtful disputes over things that aren't going to be a blessing to them, but may cause them to stumble and turn away. Right? Because that's, that's, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. My prayers are you, uh, you know, don't let me cause anyone to stumble. Don't let me cause anyone to be turned up, turned out of the way, come up lame. Yahuwah, please don't let me do that to anyone, right? Yahuwah, by your Ruach Kakadesh, take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign so that I may say that which is going to encourage that's going to exhort, that's going to bless. Now, if I'm declaring a word and that word convicts you because of your wrong and you get offended, well, that's that ain't got nothing to do with the for me offending you because uh, I, I have an act in wisdom, right? You just were caught in the word. You, the word, the Torah of truth revealed your sin and you got offended. Right, well, you know, that's something you you got to deal with. I, he ain't going to hold me accountable for that because that's why he sent the word. <laughs> he sent the word to convict you. He sent the word to, to reach you, right? But how you deal with it will affect your witness between you and you. But see, it ain't going to affect me because that's not what he means, right? He means, you know, here, here, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a weak brother in the faith that just come in and a part of my assembly, right? And I get into an argument over, 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 over something that there shouldn't be no argument over, right? 
It's a doubtful disputation, right? Right? A doubtful disputation. So, you know, it just so that for the sake of uh, um, making sure we clarify, disputation is um, a discerning, it's, it's a distinguishing, discerning, or judging. So, you know, um, there's this, there's this, uh, there's this kind of judgment that's attached to something somebody is doing. Right, it's just, just it's a judicial judging kind of thing, right? You, you, where you you're judging something someone's doing, their opinion, right? It says it says not for the purpose of passing judgment on opinions as to which one is to be preferred as more correct, right? So, you know, it's like well, you know, you know. You know, you, you think what you're doing is more correct. And, you know, I may think what I'm doing is more correct, but I'm going to pass judgment on you. And what it's going to do is it's going to cause not me, but you to stumble because you're the weakest. Right? I'm not going to, I'm going, I'm going to get in trouble with you. Right. Because of what I did. Right. But it's not going to cause me to turn from that, which I am established in, but you, on the other hand, it may affect you. Right. So let's go in. Let's go in a little bit further. We're going to get through this real quick because, you know, I mean, uh, 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 we're going to get through it real quick. He says, so, he says, for one believes that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. Now, so, you know, we went into Leviticus and we, we looked at uh, unclean meats and unclean foods. And, you know, he's talking about eating unclean things. I mean, oh, excuse me. He's talking about eating clean things. He's not talking about eating unclean things. Paul is 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 a keeper of the Torah and a teacher of the Torah. He is no way in no means suggesting that you can eat a bunch of unclean foods. So let's get that out of the way. But what he is talking about is eating um, eating um, say meat, right? You know there was again I, I referenced it before, but there was a there was a, a issue that arose about whether or not um, they should eat meat off of the idols. Well. You know, Shaul, I mean, uh, Peter in the church said, listen, they shouldn't have anything to do with idols, right? But, you know, I mean, you, you don't go into a, a temple to worship idols, you know. You know but if they, they offered the, the meat and, and you get a discount on lamb chops, <laughs> well, what's an idol to me? That lamb is the same lamb as it was when he went in and he came out because that idol is nothing to me. Right. So the idea is, is that um, for one believer that he may eat all things and another who is weak eateth herbs. Right. So, you know, you know, you, you got vegans and you got people that eat meat. Right. Right. You know, vegan, you know, he, you know, he's referred to as weak. Right. In Imunah, which means that he hasn't established himself in Imunah to the point where he is comfortable with eating meat. You know, and, and, and he's with, and he will not, you know, he may never get to that place. But it's about what we do to his consciousness, right? Because we don't want to cause him to sin, right? So it says, right, uh, for one believing that he may eat all things, and another who is weak eateth herbs, right? Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. So, you know, I eat, I eat meat, right? I eat meat and vegetables, right? Well, I'm not going to despise the man that eats vegetables, right? I'm not going to despise the vegan. You know, that's a choice that he's made in Imuna, and, you know, you know, he stands by that in Imuna and the principle attached to that, right? And you who you don't care, right? You know, you who don't care, right? Because he... Who has given him his ruach and condition, established him as a witness. The man decides he wants to eat just vegetables. That's his choice. You ain't gonna sweat that, right? Now me, right? I'm 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 mature in this walk. I'm established in this witness. There's things that just don't move me, right? Right? But these are things that these are things that are that are still in line with Torah, right? I mean, I'm not I'm not I'm not suggesting that. Oh, oh I'm in the witness now. You know, I can eat all things. No, I can't eat. I can't eat pig. No, I can't eat shrimps and lobsters and 
can eat under that because they don't have scales. And and if they don't have scales, I don't eat them, according to the Torah, right? Same thing with food, meat. I, I eat things that have cleft hooves, right? They chew the cud. If they don't chew the cud, then I don't eat them. They can have cleft feet, but if they don't chew the cud, I don't eat them, right? Chew the cud means eat grass, you know, fruits and grass and that kind of thing. I you gotta eat sheep, you got lamb, you know, you know, sometimes your goats they can get off into some stuff, but they eat they eat basically the, the cut. They eat the cut. They chew grass. They, you know, goats kind of chew most of a lot of things, but they chew grass. <laughs> they have, they have, they have mow your, your, your lawn. They will. <laughs> yeah, goats. But the idea is, is that they are, they are, there are foods that, that uh, a Yahuwah allows right and if i eat those that's fine right but that weaker brother may 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 can't do that right he says let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not and let not him that eateth not judge him that eateth for lu have received them so listen i i can't i can't i can't judge you you can't judge me you know I mean, you knew to the witness. I'm established in the witness. You can't come to me saying, well, why you eat meat? You should be eating vegetables. Because vegetables is, 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 is given to you by you. <laughs> so is meat. <laughs> you can't eat these cows. You can't eat this stuff, man. It's all, all genetically engineered, right? Yeah, and so is your vegetables. So is your seeds. You Listen. I can't judge you. You can't judge me. What we both got to do is we got to sanctify whatever we eat or consume. Offer it up to you with thanksgiving and let him deal with it in us. Right? I mean, that's that's just the way, that's just the way it is. It says, listen. Who art thou that judges another man's servant? Right? Now, we are Yahuwah's servants. Right? Right? I mean, and the idea is that we are servants to you, right? Right? How am I going to judge you who is servant? Someone has received you who is witness, walking in Emuna, right? Right? Maybe just new, but you, they received them, you who should, and you was on the inside of them, right? Yeah, they got to be developed in the Basora. Yeah, they got to be developed in the Torah, right? Yeah, they got to develop in the word of Yahuwah. Right, but they you who are servants. They ain't mine. You know, I ain't got I, I I can't excuse me, I can't judge them. I can't judge them based on what I think. Right? I can't hold what I do in better in higher regards than what they choose to do in Emuna. Because listen, in Yushamashi, what we have to do, we have to do in the Emuna. Right? You got to believe that you're sanctified. You got to believe that even what you eat after you pray over it is sanctified in Imuna. You have to. Right? So he says, listen. Who art thou the judges and other man's servant? To Yahuwah. So let's say, who are you to judge Yahuwah's servant? Right? Right? To Yahuwah. He standeth or falls, right? Yea, he shall be holden, he shall be holden or up, upheld, for Alua is able to make him stand. Because he's a servant. If a servant wants to eat vegetables, let him eat vegetables, right? If you are a servant and you want to eat meat and vegetables, eat meat and vegetables. Right? Both of you are Yahuwah's servants. And Yahuwah is going to cause you to stand. Yahuwah just don't want you judging one another over what he has provided in Emunah in both of you. He says, one man esteemeth the day above another. Now we're talking about days. 
just one man esteem it the day above another. All right? You got some people who esteem Pesach in the same time as the people serve in Easter. Right? Same same time. Right? You got some people that esteem the Pesach after that. Right? But they're observing Pesach. See, because in Yusha Mashiach, as often as you do, do the remembrance of him. Because Yahushua has established this witness in the earth. His dominion is established. He is going to put all things in order when his kingdom is established in the Urex. Right? All the days, all the months, all the seasons, they're all going to be put in order. One man esteems one day and another, another. Right? But what? You want to get into disputes over them because of what they choose? Oh, well. You ain't choosing the right days. It's not the right moon. It's this moon. It's the black moon. It's the dark moon. It's the new moon. It... Listen, I'm in the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. I've received the witness that all things have been established. He is the fulfillment of all of that. Yahushua Mashiach, he's the fulfillment of all those shadows. Another esteems every day, right? You know, you got, you got, you got, you, Yahushua has called Yahuda to establish his Shabbat, right? But they didn't keep the Shabbat. And as a people, we woke up and now we understand we are to keep the Shabbat and the Shabbat is the day that we all ascribe as the Shabbat, right? Friday sundown or Saturday sundown Shabbat, right? Friday evening, right up until uh, uh, Friday evening up until Saturday day, it's the Shabbat, but it's the preparation. Saturday day to Saturday night is the Shabbat. You got people that ascribe it another day. And some people ascribe all the days as old. Yahuwah has a day, but that's going to be established when he comes. Right? Because when he establishes his kingdom in the arrest, all things are going to be made complete. Fulfilled purpose done the way it's supposed to be. Right? Right? Because everything else is just a shadow. You have to come through this witness. You got to be establishing you, That's you, you, you have to receive the witness of you, Shemashiach. You got to be born again. You got to be born of the water and the Ruach HaKadosh. The Ruach HaKadosh is what gives you life. It's what quickens you. It makes you alive. The blood of Yahushua is the atonement, is the cleansing. It cleanses your temple. And then he puts the Ruach HaKadosh in you to make you alive. You got to have this. He says, let every man be fully persuaded. Let every man be established in Emunah. In his own mind. In his own mind. You know, there's a time when, you know, when, when I, you know, I was established in the awakening, you know, and, you know, I was feeling my way through, you know, had the Ruach HaKadosh still, you know, listening to a bunch of other different people, people, all kinds of people telling me different things and, you know, when the Shabbat is, when the Shabbat ain't, when the, when, when, when the feast days are, when the feast days aren't, and, you know, and, and, and finally I just had to say, you know what, you know, I am going to get established in a day. Right? In my mind. Right? 
in Imuna. And remember, Pisa. Right? Remember Pisa. Right? I'm gonna do my due diligence. We gonna we gonna we gonna do what we can do. But listen, I already know that I'm establishing this witness. And Yahusha says, as oft as you take of this bread and eat of this cup, drink of this cup, you do show forth his sacrifice. Right? Right? So listen. I ain't talking about what the Catholics do, and I ain't talking about what the Christian church do. Every first Sunday of the month. I'm not talking about that. No. I'm not talking about that. I'm not taking I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about every time that I remember peace sock, I remember it. Right? Right. I love the bread and peace sock. I remember him. Right? But I remember Yahushua's body that was broken. That was a fulfillment. I remember his blood that was shed. That was fulfillment. That established a renewed covenant. Covenant that was built on better promises. Not shadows. See, the shadows just pointed to it. And, and, and Yahushua was the fulfillment. That was the better. See, the better covenant establishes eternity. And Yahushua Mashiach. Because there's no eternal life without Yahushua Mashiach. It's better. Right? I'm established as a son of Yahuwah. And this renewed covenant. I'm a part of the kingdom to come. Right? He has given me his Ruach HaKadosh. I have signs following me. That's that's everything, right? That's everything. And you got to be fully persuaded. You got to have imuna, right? Now, there's people that are weak in imuna, and there's people that are strong in imuna. And in the strength of my imuna, I'm established in a day. And you, Shamashiach, with me. And he honors that. Because his witness is in me. His Ruach HaKadosh is in me. Let's go on. He that regardeth the day regardeth it unto Yahuwah. See, Pesach, unleavened bread, I'm going to regard that unto Yahuwah. Adonai, Yahushua. I'm going to remember his sacrifice. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a walk in the liberty that I've received in this witness. I'm going to be thankful that my consciousness of sin has been removed from me. I'm going to be thankful that sin has no dominion over me. I'm going to be thankful that I am seated in heavenly places in Hamashiach. I'm rejoicing. Over the witness. Right? I'm not rejoicing over coming out of Mitzrayim. I'm not rejoicing over the death angel passing by my house. I'm rejoicing in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. I'm rejoicing in being led by the Ruach HaKadosh. I'm rejoicing in the fact that I'm seated in heavenly places in Hamashiach. I'm rejoicing that he has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. And he has put all things under my feet in Hamashiach. I'm rejoicing. He that regardeth the day regardeth it unto Yahuwah. And he that regardeth not the day to Adonai Yahuwah. Or Adonai. He doeth not regard it. Right? You regard it a different day. You don't regard it the same day I regard it. But at the end of the day, we both regard it. Right? And if we have received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, then... We're established in this witness. 
we should have the understanding that Yahuwah is going to in when he brings Yahusha and his kingdom to the earth, it's going to set everything in order. Listen, creation travails and waits for the manifestation of the sons of Alua. Right? The creation knows things are out of whack. Creation understands the things that are out of whack. They're waiting for the revelation, the revealing of the sons of Alua. So that they can so things can fall back into place. You gotta understand, man, sin devastated the earth. Sin devastated the earth. The consciousness of sin that ran rampant all the years devastated the earth. The witness of Yahushua Hamashiach and establishing sons in the earth, right, brought the arrests, the glimmer of hope that they waited for. Because now, not only when Yahushua was in the earth and had all power and dominion, they knew that the son of Elua walked among them, right? Now they know we who have received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach and our sons of Yahuwah Elua, who have received the earnest of our inheritance, the, the Ruach HaKadosh, right? Who, we who have been quickened, right? They recognize and understand who we are. Waiting for the manifestations of the sons of Alua. Those who receive the witness. Not those that died in the wilderness, having participated in Pesach. Look, these same people died in the wilderness. They were they were they were wandering for 40 years. Right? In 40 years they murmured and complained had a high priest who offered sacrifices for sin every year for them. But they died in the wilderness because they yet murmured and complained. I'm sorry, but that ain't good enough for me. I need the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach to be established. Because I need the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach to be able to keep the Torah. Because I, I can't even keep the Torah without the Yahushua Hamashiach. Witness. Because he's taken away sin consciousness in me, and now I have received the witness of you, Shemashi, I can keep Torah. I can keep Torah. I can keep Torah now. He that regardeth the day regardeth it unto Yahuwah, and he that regardeth not the day unto Yahuwah. He said, he not regardeth it. He that regardeth. He that eateth, eateth unto Yahuwah, for he giveth Yahuwah thanks. Because at the end of the day, whatever Yahuwah does, you have to give him thanks. See, I'm going to give Yahuwah thanks on the day that I have established as the, the day of Pesach in the week of unleavened bread. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it unto you with the mindset of remembering Yahushua's covenant because that's the covenant I'm under. Right? Now, yes, I know I'm a Hebrew. Hebrews. And I remember, I remember Egypt, Mitzrayim. I remember the blood on the doorpost. I remember the lamb. I remember. They were shadows to the lamb of Yahuwah that was slain from the foundations of the earth. They were shadows of him who Yehuganon says, Behold, the lamb of Yahuwah that taketh away the sins of the world. Behold, the lamb of Yahuwah that removed the leaven from the world. See, that's 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 what I focus on. That's what I tie into. Right? Because that's what that day is. That day is remembering the witness and how Yahushua has established this renewed covenant that is going to cause us to enter into the kingdom. 
Now peace suck in this sense that the blood on the doorpost and getting your leaven out of your house in some way, shapes, or forms establishes you in the kingdom. And not. Nah. Right? He says, For none of us liveth to himself, but no man dieth to himself. Why? Because, you know, in this witness, having received the witness, we are part of a body. And that body is the body of Hamashiach. We have been raised and seated in heavenly places in Hamashiach. We who are in his witness, who identify with the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh, we don't live unto ourselves. We recognize we're part of the body. And the body is the kingdom. The body makes up those that are part of the kingdom. The body makes up the part of those that are in the, that are, that the body makes up those that make up the kingdom of Yahuwah that is going to be fruitful and multiply and put the kibosh down on the earth. He says, for whether we live, we live unto Yahuwah in this witness. Whether we die, we die unto Yahuwah in this witness, right? Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are Yahuwahs. Because we have received the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. We have been born. And because we're born again, we are his. He says, for this end, Amashiach, the end, right? The renewed covenant, the end. The establishing of a new testament because the death of a tester. For to this end, Hamashiach both died. That you could be established in the witness. You could decide to eat vegetables. Or eat meat. You can decide to esteem a day or another day. In Yahuwah, what you do has to be what you're persuaded in Imunah, convinced of, and do it in Imunah. In Yahuwah. You do it unto him. He says, for to this end, because you was the uh, fulfillment, the end. When something is fulfilled, it's the end. It's, it's complete. It has been complete. You Yusha, right? For to this end, Hamashiach both died and rose and revived that he might be Adonai both of the dead and the living. Because, yeah, you know, there's those that died in Imunah that he had to establish, right? Who he had to, 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 to provide for and he had to to take the keys of death hell and take the keys of death and hell right to establish those that have died in faith you have people that died in faith people that died and are dead right 
told Yahushua. His work was fulfilled and completed with those who have died before and those who live now. This witness, right? Yahushua Hamashiach. He said, listen, 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 listen. But why doest thou judge thy brother? Why are you judging your brother? Right? Or why doest thou set it not thy brother? For we shall all stand before... Now listen, now listen, now listen, now listen, now listen, right? We who have received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach are to, to love one another. Right? Not to judge one another. Right? You received the Ruach HaKadosh, I received the Ruach HaKadosh, I can't judge you, you can't judge me. I received the Ruach HaKadosh, you received the Ruach HaKadosh, the witness of Yahushua. Listen, 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 listen. You have to be careful because that's arrogance. You become arrogant, right? Which leads to pride. You think you know it all. And you begin to judge your brother. You begin to judge your brother. You begin to, uh, yeah, yeah, don't listen to that brother. Yeah, we don't, we, we don't listen to that brother. We don't, we don't listen to that sister. Because, yeah, yeah, no, that's the song. I don't listen to that. I got time for that. I don't got time for that. I really don't. I ain't judging none of my brothers. No. Now, I'm going to tell you something, right? The word will come in a stern rebuke, right? But I'm not going to just judge you because of something that may not be like me. I'm not going to judge you. He said, why do thou judge thy brother? Or why thou said it not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of you. Listen, why why you gonna judge your brother? Right? Judge your brother what he eats. Judge your brother what he drinks. Right? You with some brews. Right? They have no problem with drinking alcohol. Right. Right now, you know, when I say alcohol, you know, I'm largely meaning wine. You know. But you know, I mean But if it caused my brother to stumble, then I'm not going to do it. The Bible says, be not drunk with. Because that's access. Because you want to be filled with the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? Right? You don't ever want to be in a place where you're drunk. Right? And if you're drinking in excess, then you're violating Torah. Because everything that you do in excess leads to sin. Everything you do in excess leads to sin. You got a brother think that, you know, hey, no problem with drinking wine. Sister, right? You got some brothers that don't have a problem with drinking the brown. <laughs> you know? You know, I can't judge them. That's your whose job? Because they're going to rise or fall before you who for the decisions they made. Right? You who said they're going to all come before the judgment seat of you. Right? He said, why do thou judge thy brother? Or why do thou said it not thy brother? But we shall all, so why are you going to cause your brother to get angry with you? Why are you going to cause yourself to, 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 to allow your relationship with your brother to become that which is hostile? Why are you going to let your relationship with your brother become a hostile relationship? He said, for we are all going to stand before the judgment seat of you, right? For it is written, as I live, saith your Adonai, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess 
to a little. It's going to happen. You got to love your brother. And you got to recognize that what you do should be should come from such a place of love that you don't want to ever do anything that's going to hurt someone. That's your brother. Your sister. You know, sister hurting. Right? You're going to put her on blast. You're going to correct her. About something that's not even necessary. The difference is make she's vegan. Now, I'm, I'm using these illustrations, vegan and meat eaters, because that's just what Shaul was speaking into, speaking in reference to, but it points to a higher idea. The higher idea is, is that what they do, if it's Yahuwah approved, because Yahuwah is the one that's going to judge them, and if Yahuwah has them in the witness, in the Ruach HaKadosh, they may be weak, but they're in there. I can't judge them for that. It's like they can't judge me. The CBU is going to deal with you about what you do. He'll deal with them about what they do. He said, So then let every one of us shall give an account to a lure. Right? Right? Let us not therefore judge one another anymore. But judge rather that no man put a stumbling block or occasion to fall before his brother. Don't do anything that's going to cause your brother to stumble. Right? Don't do anything that's going to give your brother occasion to fall. Right? You know your brother's weak in the faith. Right? Your brother may have a, had an issue. He may have previously been an alcoholic. Right? Right? Don't sit up drinking wine in front of him. And you know he's trying to do what he needs to do to to walk in this witness and to be established in this emu now. You know he may get to a place in, in some time in years where he is he is established in this witness, and you know you drinking before him ain't gonna bother him, it ain't gonna have no effect on him. But right, you don't do that because you want to give your brother occasional sin. You don't want to throw no stumbling block for your brother. You know, he knew in, in the witness. He weakened the witness. He weakened the witness. You, 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 and, 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 and you throw on a stumbling block in front of him. Preventing an occasion of sin. And brother, no, you know the brother is, is, is convinced that he needs to eat vegetables. Then you sit down, you know, got a porter out steak. Or ribeye. Bone in. Scarfing it down. He looking at you all funny. <laughs> he weak. You know he weak. But you don't care. You affect his evil now. Cause him to move opposite of what he had his imuna in. He had his imuna in the vegetables. Oh, man, let's think about your brother not causing an occasion for him to stumble. It's about not causing an occasion for your sister to stumble. He says, I know and am persuaded by Adonai Yahusha that nothing is unclean of itself. Right. Nothing. Now, Shaul is not stating that you can eat pig if you're in the witness because nothing is unclean. That's not what he's saying. 
He does say you can eat camel or a horse. You can eat lobster, scrimps. He's not saying that. Right? He says, I am, I know, and am persuaded by Adonai Yahusha that nothing unclean of itself. Right? But it's unclean, right, to him that esteems anything to be unclean to him. We know that there are foods that we can't eat. According to Torah. They are esteemed to us as unclean. Right. If we violate that, then that becomes sent to us. Right. Now let's take it let's take it to a different level. Right. Eating meat is not unclean. Or eating meat that's offered to idols. It's not unclean in this case. What's an idol to me? Right. But that brother that eats vegetables has seen you purchase that meat. That lamb out of that shop where it's adultery going on. Or no, idolatry. Say it's a, well, see, that's not even really something that we're going to encounter in that. Well, yeah, you know, McDonald's. You eat at the Golden Arches. <laughs> My octopus. Listen, you talking about eating meat that's offered to idols. Listen, you eat at the Golden Arches. <laughs> Right? You eat, eat, you eat them hamburgers at the Golden Arches. <laughs> eat meat off of the idols. Right? Listen. For me to eat at McDonald's, I don't eat at McDonald's. I don't really eat fast food like that no more. McDonald's and Wendy's, and, you know, I don't really do that no more. You know, I, I do an occasional Kentucky Fried Chicken. I don't even do that no more, much. My wife's a good cook, so she could call it. My wife be like, "Baby, what you want to eat today?" I'm like, uh, I don't know. She said, "Well, this is what we got in the freezer. What you, what you want?" And I'm like, uh, I don't know. And she goes, "Want some fish?" I don't know. You want lamb? We got lamb in here. Uh, uh, got ground beef. You want a noodle bowl? <laughs> I don't eat out much unless we go to dinner. Because, you know, she cooks every day. You know, that's the only thing I say about my wife, right? She is, she cooks every day. She makes sure I eat every day. Right? Every day. She says that's her responsibility. She feels that that's her responsibility. She's a Gentile. Right. Right. That's, that's her job. Right. Right. She weak in the faith. You know. And I'm not, she weak in the faith. Right. I don't get on her. Right. I let my life. And the words that I speak echo, right? But she's she would be one that's weak. She 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 doesn't understand the need. She doesn't she doesn't understand the discipline and the need of the discipline of a Basur and the Torah truth. And to a large degree, I believe that she's sanctified through me, right? Because she is <laughs> she put it down. But the idea is, is that I don't eat out everywhere else. I eat at home. You know, I've, and every now and then I get a Five Guys. You know, I do do a Five Guys. You know, I think I need a Five Guys. Three weeks ago. You know, get the peanuts, crack the peanuts. Uh, okay, let me get back on track. 
So the idea is, is that you have to be persuaded and convinced in Imuna that something is okay, right? And that it's not unclean, right? It's not a problem for you, right? He says, I know and am persuaded by I don't know you should that not un he says that there is nothing unclean, but that's not there is. I don't like that added two words, right? Because I don't like what he's saying. He says there is nothing unclean, which would suggest that Paul is saying that whatever Yahuwah said in the Torah, right, is not unclean. Right, but that's not what that means. He says I know and persuaded by the Adonai Yahusha that nothing unclean of itself, right? Nothing is unclean of itself. Something is unclean because of what you make it, right? Something that may not be unclean, like for the man who eats who eats 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 vegetables, eating meat is an unclean thing. Not that the meat that he's eating is an unclean meat, but for him it's unclean. But Shaul is saying there's nothing unclean about eating meat, right? There's nothing unclean about eating meat. There's nothing unclean about eating meat offered to idols. Because an idol to me is nothing but to you, who are weak in the faith, who don't even think that I should be eating meat, but think they should be eating vegetables, right? Yeah, that's going to be unclean to them. And because in their emu is unclean to them, it becomes sin for them. He says, but if thy brother be grieved with meat, now walk thou in love, right? Destroy him, destroy not him with thy meat for whom you, who should die? You should die for him just like he died for you. He gave him the Ruach and just like he gave you. Right? Don't destroy him. Don't destroy her. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because it's about the body. Because this is, we all in this together. This ain't you and your world only. It's that weak brother and that weak sister that found their way into your assembly. Right? It's the same, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same, right? Let not then your good be spoken even of. Because you know what? Eating meat, it's neither good nor evil for you. Eating meat is fine because you are yours. You have you as Ruach HaKadosh. It has no bearing on you. Right? It has no bearing on you. Right? But on your brother. Right? Who happens to watch and see you do this causes him to be destroyed. And you got to love your brother more than you love this meat that it's not sin to you, but it causes your brother to fall, right? So y'all be like, well, yeah, so what am I supposed to do, man? You mean to tell me I can't eat, you know, my brother's a vegan? Now what you need to do is you need to have a discussion with your brother, your sister. This is sister, right? Uh, I notice you, you just eat vegetables. Do you have a problem with eating meat? Yeah, I don't eat meat. Da, 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 da. So, well, you know, um, okay. It's no problem. You know, you receive the witness of Yusha Mashiach and you are establishing that. You're persuaded in that. That's fine. That's a beautiful thing. Right? I'm not going to do anything that's going to cause her to stumble. I'm not going to do anything that's going to cause her to stumble. See, the thing is, is, she's weak. Give her time. Evil not. 
the Bethor and the Torah of truth with the Ruach HaKadosh of truth. Right? She would grow. And the thing that once would have caused her to stumble won't cause her to stumble no more. The thing that once caused him to stumble won't cause him to stumble no more, right? He may, yeah, he or she may continue to eat meat or eat eat vegetables, but they will understand that, you know, that's what you was called and established them in. That's nothing to do with you. I can't get offended at that, but that's growth. The idea is that's growth. You recognize where they are in their growth pattern, right? He says, let not then your good be evil spoken of because it's good. It's not a bad thing for you, right? You eat meat ain't a bad thing. It ain't even a bad thing for you to eat meat that was offered to idols, right? Right? It ain't a bad thing for you to go and make it eat. But just don't take your brother to Mickey D's if your brother is weak and your brother feels like that place is not righteous. Don't go. Especially with that brother. Don't do it. Till that brother's developed and grows and matured and is established and is not weak any longer in Imuna, but is strong, is fully persuaded. And that is not a staggering at Yahuwah's word, right? You, you, you got to understand where people are, right? He says, for the kingdom of Elua is not meat or drink, but righteousness and peace. So the kingdom of Yahuwah is, ain't got nothing to do with what you drink or what you eat. I mean, unless it's unclean, then it's a violation of Torah, which is, yeah, right. But it, it 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 for the kingdom of Elua is not meat or drink. See, the kingdom of Yahuwah is the witness. The kingdom is a, a, is a, is achieved or established having received the witness of Yahusha Hamashiach. It has nothing to do with what you have eaten or what you eat, right? It doesn't. The kingdom of Yahuwah is is attached to the witness of Yahusha. If you receive the witness of Yahusha, then you are part of Yahuwah's kingdom, right? It, it has nothing to do with what you eat or what you drink, right? So, for me, if I eat meat and vegetables and drink wine, I have the Ruach HaKadosh and, and the witness of Yahushua on the inside of me. Because the kingdom has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with the witness that I've received in Yahushua Hamashiach. Right? He says, For the kingdom of Lua is not in meat or drink, but in righteousness and peace and in joy in the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahushua said, You must be born again of the water and of the Ruach HaKadosh, because the Ruach HaKadosh is what establishes you in the kingdom. It's not about what you drink. Yahushua sat down with the disciples at Pesach. Right? And he told his disciples, "Listen, this is the body. This is, no, this is my this is my blood. This is uh, this is my uh, body that was broken for you. It was unleavened bread, right? Right? It was unleavened bread. His body was broken for you. Yahushua was that sinless leaven. Excuse me. Yahushua was that sinless unleavened." bread that was broken. Yahushua was that blood, right? That was the wine, the blood of the grape, the wine that they drank that was for the remission of their sins. This is the renewed covenant. He had the right to do these things because he was the high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. He fulfilled that. It's the Ruach HaKadosh to make the difference. The blood of Yahushua and the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? Listen, listen, listen. For he that 
in these things serveth a Mashiach, right, is acceptable to Elua and approved of men. You are acceptable unto Yahuwah. And you are approved of men. Right? If you are righteous through the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, right? And because you are, you have peace with Yahuwah. Right? Because you Yahuwah is not angry with you because you received the witness. Right? Right? You have received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, right? Which is establishes you in righteousness. And Yahuwah is not angry with you anymore, right? And he has allowed his Ruach HaKadosh to be your joy. See, because for he that in these things serve Hamashiach is acceptable to Elua and approved of men. Because these are the things that determine whether or not you're approved of Yahuwah. And which should be acceptable to men. He says, right? Verse 18. He says, For he that in these things serveth Hamashiach is acceptable unto Lua and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make peace. Right? Do the things that make peace. Because that's a part of who we are. Righteousness and peace and the rule of Kadesh. We take the high road. The road to peace. And things wherewith one may edify another. So, you know, we, we, we work on establishing peace and edifying one another. We ain't, we're not we're not trying to have doubtful disputations. That's not what this is about. This is about peace, right? For meat destroyeth not the works of Alua. Meat ain't going to change Yahuwah or the work of Yahuwah. All things indeed are pure, but evil for that man who eateth with offense. So, it's pure for me, but for my vegan man who's offended, right? It's sin. It's evil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what makes peace. Until he is strong, right? Because, you know, we talked about, it's all about him that is weak in faith receive. Talking about somebody who is weak in faith. Abraham being not weak in faith. He wasn't weak in faith, right? He believed what you would say. You have to have, you have to give time to people to be established in this emunah, the witness unto Yeshua, right? But but the idea is, is that we're going to do those things that establish peace, right? We ain't going to let them be destroyed over me, right? Right? He says, good neither to eat flesh, nor drink wine, nor whereby thy brother stumbles or is offended or is made weak, right? Look, don't do anything that's going to cause your brother to stumble. Don't do anything that's going to cause your brother to be made weak. Don't do anything that's going to cause your brother to, 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 to be made offended. Because see, listen, it's about love. Listen, we all one body. Right? Your assembly is one body with the entire assembly of Yahuwah. Those who are established in the total witness of Hamashiach. 
those who have righteousness, right? Those who have righteousness, right? Those who have peace, and those who have the Ruach HaKadosh. For the kingdom of the Lua is not meat and drink, but righteousness through faith in Hamashiach, peace with Yahuwah for having received the witness, and joy in the Ruach HaKadosh because he's giving you the Ruach HaKadosh which keeps you or establishes you in his kingdom. And both of you are established. The weak one and the one that's strong. He says, Has thou faith? Have to thyself before Lua. Happy is he that condemneth not himself and that thing which he allows. You have you have Imuna in you. And your Imuna is persuaded and happy. Right? You eat meat. Be happy and eat meat. You drink wine. Be happy and drink your wine. Right? He says, Has thou faith? The question, Have to thyself before a lure. You got faith that you can do these things? Have faith in Yahuwah and do them. He said, because happy. He that condemneth not himself in that thing which he allows. I ain't condemned. I ain't condemned to eat meat and vegetables. I'm happy about it. <laughs> listen, if you ain't, if you happy with eating meat and drinking wine, listen. And Yahuwah will be happy with it. Because in this witness, he's allowed that to you. Because you ain't condemned. And condemnation is sin. He said, he that is doubtful is damned if he eats. Because if you got doubt, your emu nah doesn't allow you to, then don't do it. Because you're going to condemn yourself. Because of your lack of imunah and having been established, right, because you get weak, having been established in imunah to the point where that thing does not matter to you. Right? It's, it's not a thing to you. Right? And, and he that doubteth, right, is damned if he eats because not of faith. He don't do what he's doing because of faith. His faith telling his faith is saying eat vegetables, eat vegetables, eat vegetables, eat vegetables, and 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 stay away from meat, stay away from meat. If you eat meat, then it's it, you you gonna be wrong. Well, yeah, you can't eat meat because you are gonna be wrong. Because that's what your faith tells you. Uh, listen, you gotta be persuaded. And those who are persuaded have to be conscientious. They have to recognize the people they are among. And they have to use wisdom and discretion. Be led by the Ruach HaKadosh. Because I'm happy. I'm happy to eat meat. And I'm talking about meat that is approved of Torah to eat. I'm happy to eat meat. And vegetables. And I'm not condemned. He allowed me. I'm not condemned. No matter if y'all woman, if y'all listen. This witness is a witness of Emu Na. You have to be established in Emu Na and the things with Yahuwah and Yahusha has said. You got to be grounded. You can't be moved. You can't be swayed. You got to be convinced. And if you are, no matter whether it's meat or drink, no matter if it's days, 
Excuse me. My man regards one day and another man regards another day. I said, about your emu now? Yeah, I keep the Shabbat. I regard the Shabbat. Regard the, the, the Pesach and unleavened bread. And I keep it the same day you do. But in my emu now, I'm fine with it. Because I received the witness of you from my Shaniac anyway. And I recognize it's just a shadow. I'm going to remember it because it's something that you have said to remember throughout my generation. But it points to you, Shemashiach. And that's the witness that established the renewed covenant. And that's the leavened bread that he broke and gave it to his disciples and eat. His sinless body. Yeah. And that wine, that blood that was shed, that went on the doorpost, that was sprinkled in you. You, 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 you took that in. right? It cleansed you. Right, from all unrighteousness and sin, right? Your sin consciousness has been removed. You see, that's what happened. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, that's all I got. That's Romans and stuff. The entire chapter, right? Listen, you have to understand it's about the consciousness of sin, you know? With the principles of consciousness for you, you know? All right, look, I'm happy. And when Yahuwah, and the witness of Yahushua Mashiach, has made me free from, you know, I am condemned. There's therefore now no condemnation for them that are in Hamashiach, right? And Imunah, I'm in a place where my Imunah, where, you know, I'm strong. Strong in Yahuwah, strong in His Word, strong in the Ruach HaKadosh, righteousness, peace, and the Ruach HaKadosh. Me. Yeah, 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 bud. You can't move me. And I'm not going to do anything that I knowingly do cause you to stumble. So, man, if y'all want me, y'all, that's it. Call the greatness. One of you who beautifully and wonderfully made, today you who has favored you. You who I pray that the words you've given me to give to them, that they will receive them. And even now that they will be established in them. Yahuwah, weak, strong alike. I pray that your word will make the difference going into their ears and establishing them. Yahuwah, for your word is life and peace is medicine to all our flesh. And I give you praise for it. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, that's it. May you receive the, the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh and walk in the power of the Ruach HaKadosh that you would be led by the Ruach HaKadosh and listen, it's about your emu now. You have to establish, develop, build on your emu now. Faith comes, emu now comes by hearing and hearing the word of you. Hear the tapes. Listen, listen to these YouTubes. Listen, listen to these YouTubes. And hear yourself audibly speak the word of Yahuwah in your reading and your studying it so you can hear yourself send it in. Yes. Faith comes by hearing. By word of Yahuwah. So with that, I say, man of Yah, one of Yah, shalom, 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 be blessed. <laughs> Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.